Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, let's just wait a few minutes to other people just join the meeting and uh, we will start. Hello. Okay, let me start as an introduction. Um, today, uh, we are going to talk about um, AI in post pandemic situation and actually uh, today's situation and how AI can give you some solutions and that can be also used in post pandemic. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Maral, working in SmartClick as a data scientist. Uh, and uh, I want to mention that I'm really happy that you're all joining and are interested in AI and the topic won't be that much technical. So whoever doesn't have any experience in AI or data science uh, will understand and hopefully will uh, get interesting insight about AI and whenever they want to talk about um, artificial intelligence or data science, they will some kind of have an idea uh, about it. Uh, so I think maybe I will start to talk about and uh, if other people would join during the meeting, uh, we'll say hi. So first of all, I want to mention, uh, I'll be happy to answer your questions, but if you have a question, please write it in chat and I will try to answer them after the talk. Uh, and what question that I was just not, not didn't have a time for answer it, you can uh, post it in the event and uh, we'll try to answer. Uh, so let's start. Uh -huh. So today, um, uh, these days are almost all of us are struggling with the same problem that is called COVID-19. And because of the lockdown, a lot of businesses are stopped. Uh, so we are kind of living through a hard time that everyone tries to cope up with the new life that is current in lifestyle. Uh, and everyone in these days talks about how AI can fight COVID-19 and uh, what are the solutions that China is doing and et cetera. But let's look with different perspective that how AI can help humanity in this pandemic situation and what solutions they give uh, and what are the solutions can be used after uh, this uh, situation ends, I mean, post pandemic situation. So for the people that are not familiar with uh, this AI field, I want to mention that it is kind of maybe surprising for you, but AI is used in almost every domain, such as health, supply chain, lifestyle, or whatever you think about it. So I want to dive a little bit deeper and start with the, one of the important topics in this day, uh, which is health. Uh, one of the most worrying and stressing thing that all of us is uh, like struggling this day is understanding if we have COVID-19 symptoms or not uh, without going to hospital or doctors. Uh, because we know that uh, in this lockdown situation, coming out of the house uh, will increase the chance of getting uh, this virus. So AI specialists with the doctors, they collaborate with each other and they created a chatbot, uh, which is a, a smart chatbot that you can chat with it and say what problems do you have, what symptoms do you have, you're coughing or something. And uh, this chatbot will tell you uh, if you have the COVID-19 symptoms or you need to go to the doctor or it's just a simple uh, cold. Uh, what is chatbot? How is, how is chatbot works generally for people that uh, are new? Uh, 
Chatbot is kind of a natural language processing uh, tool or like uh, in the data science and uh, it is working like a, like a search. Uh, whenever you search something on Google, it brings you information, but this is interactive search. Like you're uh, saying something, it replies you like a chat. And it's kind of working like a decision tree of based information. And it is really important that doctors and AI specialists to update all the time this uh, information to give you uh, new uh, insights about whatever they find about COVID-19 and uh, with the new updates of the symptoms. Mm. So uh, this is a tool that developed now uh, because of our pandemic situation. Uh, but let's think about that this also can be used after, after uh, this lockdown situation ends. Um, because Oh, there are a lot of other diseases that when you feel bad, you can just ask the chatbot if you have that uh, problem or not, or it is necessary to go out to the doctor. Uh, the other interesting tool that uh, they developed is uh, coughing detection, which you can just uh, cough through your phone. And it is a voice detecting AI tool and it analyzes your voice and the data set that they collected with the people that uh, had COVID-19 symptoms and they coughed, it finds a pattern. And if you really have a problem, it will say that, okay, uh, you have a problem, you need to go to the doctor. And the other uh, interesting thing that AI specialists and doctors together developed in these days was um, a system that matched patients and doctors for consultation. It is online consultation, uh, which help a uh, patient uh, to find a relevant doctor and there's no need to go out of the house. And uh, if we look at the solutions in the long run, uh, we will understand that after this crisis ends, uh, chatbots are likely become kind of a digital portal for our interactive uh, healthcare because um, it, it helps to find the doctor or service. It can also schedule appointment and uh, it facilitates to symptom check, which is really important and it can be developed in, uh, also in future. Uh, well, we can also talk about the issues, but uh, today I don't want to mention uh, what kind of issues or problems can these uh, um, tools uh, have. And uh, I want to really, uh, you understand that AI is just a tool and uh, it is important to have a collaboration, uh, human AI collaboration, uh, because only AI can't do too much, and uh, sometimes only human can do too much too. Uh, let's uh, talk about our daily lifestyle. So most of us, uh, especially I'm talking about new generation, or uh, generally uh, likes to shop online and understands the importance of uh, staying at home and quarantine um, uh, because there are a lot of people are going out and for shopping. So this is mainly about the people that are conscious. Uh, they, um, we want to shop effectively, but these days when you're not going to shopping centers or like uh, for supermarket, you don't see the things that you need to purchase. And uh, most of the time when you forget to buy milk or something that you really need it, you come back home and you see, oh my God, I forgot this. Uh, and uh, for, for that reason, supermarkets and uh, AI specialists, uh, they come together to, ha to help people in this pandemic situation uh, to make a better shopping experience. Uh, the application that they uh, started to develop is called Boxed. And uh, what is basically this box doing is kind of um, a recommendation system. And uh, based on your purchases that you were doing uh, online, it understands that when will be your next purchase and what you will need soon or what you will finish soon. So uh, with the help of this tool, you will never forget what you need. And uh, let's just uh, think about if we have this tool, 
uh, we will always use it. Me personally, I will use it because most of the time you, I just forget stuff for ordering again and, and I order again and I order again and it's kind of an inefficient shopping experience. But if you have it, such a tool, you will have better shopping experience online. And this shows that kind of our uh, um, physical world that we have now, it's uh, transforming to digital one. Uh, or kind of, uh, you can say that we have both, uh, both physical and uh, digital words uh, with the same amount of good experience. Uh, and I want to mention about the delivery that these days uh, all of us shopping online and we get the deliveries. Uh, and uh, think about that if drones and autonomous cars were something uh, useful or something that was for many. I, I, I want to mention that we are a little bit far from it, uh, especially Armenia, but if we analyze the Asian countries where there is no restriction for drone users, uh, China really uh, used drones uh, for delivering food and uh, other supplies. And um, drones also one of the good and big and popular aspects of AI in computer vision. And, um, and after this uh, pandemic, uh, I, I'm sure that uh, this field is going to develop so fast because now uh, all the countries are talking about if we had autonomous delivery, if we had drones, everything would be better uh, because the connection between people will be less and the infection will be less. So this is, uh, this is an aspect or field that is kind of expected uh, that will have a big revolution after this pandemic situation. Uh, I want to talk about also uh, personal trainers. Um, I know most of the young generation and uh, also fit people that were going to the gym now or having a hard time because you need to exercise in the house and uh, you need to keep up with your diet. And uh, it's kind of hard because, um, okay, you're watching trainers, uh, but sometimes you do exercises wrong because there is no person like saying that, okay, you need to uh, extend your knees too far or just like uh, your legs are placed uh, too close to each other and it's kind of wrong. Uh, so that's why it, in this field, in this fitness field, uh, AI specialists and uh, fitness specialists came together and developed uh, an AI that you can uh, use it as a trainer uh, in the house and will say that if you are doing your exercises right or wrong, which is analyzes your movement, your motion, and saying that, okay, you're doing your squat wrong or right. Uh, so in this case, you will do your uh, normal life, you will do your exercises, and uh, this tool also is, is really useful after this uh, situation ends, because there is too many people that want to be fit, but they always hurt themselves in the home, and they after, after a while, they give up of exercising. Uh, and if this tool become popular, uh, which will be because a lot of things changed and people now understand that uh, some kind of they need to have some skills and need to be a little bit independent uh, with the help of the tools that um, are uh, giving us the, the applications and other stuff. Um, the other important thing uh, that we need to talk about it is uh, sophisticated uh, artificial intelligence chatbots. Uh, why I want to mention this because, uh, well, malls are closed, uh, but people are still wearing clothing and people skin uh, still need skincare products or they need to uh, some advice from the uh, from the shop. But shops are closed and okay, you maybe can deliver something online, but maybe it's not what you wanted. 
so that's why uh, shops um, for keeping their business uh, still alive and somehow work uh, they developed chatbots that you can just uh, upload your picture and it will say that what kind of uh, skin products you need or you can also upload your um, picture uh, and uh, choose the pants that you wanted or the shoes that you wanted and it will say that okay it suits you or you don't have to buy this one because it's not good on you. Uh, this is also a, a real uh, good example uh, for online shopping uh, because a lot of people do online shopping and they purchase something that uh, they didn't know that it was suits their uh, body or it is their style or not and uh, because of this pandemic situation uh, these kind of tools become popular and businesses start to think about new uh, creative um, solutions that also will uh, will be used in future when uh, when this um, uh, when this situation will end so uh, now uh, the other topic that I want to talk about is uh, working from home. Uh, it is a really important topic because um, now people uh, who, who are lucky enough to work from home, uh, especially uh, IT field people, uh, is kind of a new culture for, for offices that, uh, that never never had this experience and they kind of we can say we're they're forced to adapt this new culture because our reality is transforming uh, and they need to keep up with this reality so for companies and industries that never had this working from home experience uh, it's really tough because uh, they need to integrate new tools to understand a lot of stuff uh, for example if their workers really work or not or even it's really tough for uh, workers to just uh, work from home because some people they can't concentrate uh, they can't uh, manage their task because they're at home they don't feel that they need to work and other people are working too much because they all the time see the computer uh, that from office and they feel too much responsible so i want to talk about the about few tools that can help uh, help people and even businesses uh, to kind of attract or uh, manage easily uh, workers that all of these tools are included AI and it will be useful also after the situation ends. So I'm sure that uh, most of you are just working from home. Uh, eventually you're going to have meetings and most probably you're always taking notes from your meetings. Uh, so this is a challenging part that uh, meetings are not always just so face to face one by one. It maybe it's a group meeting, and you need to take notes. And sometimes you you can't be creative enough when you are taking notes uh, while speaking. Uh, so uh, there is an uh, application called Workpop and Aloe, uh, which are the voice recorder, but uh, you will say that okay it's a voice recorder but it's not just simple voice recorder it's a voice recorder with uh, with NLP solution inside it which means that it records the, all the meeting and uh, from the uh, from the meeting it's um, giving you a summary of the meeting I mean it takes you notes it transforms it, our data is the voice and voice transforms to uh, letters and uh, you you won't uh, just like waste your time on uh, taking notes and uh, not expressing yourself during the meeting or forget something that was important and you just didn't write and i think this this is a really good tool that uh, not only during this time uh, will be useful also uh, this can be a uh, kind of a tool that is always helpful for workers uh, to have it. Uh, the other interesting tool that um, 
I want to talk about it uh, is a future agenda. It's kind of a to-do list. Uh, I mean, I think that most of you now that you have you're at home, you have to-do list to understand uh, uh, what tasks you have or what you want to do during the uh, you, during the um, this lockdown or generally or what you, what uh, task you have in your office. So. Uh, this is kind of a planner that you just write your uh, deadlines and your tasks and you say your expectation time of finishing it. And um, most of us generally do um, easier tasks in the beginning and the harder task in the end. Uh, but this AI tool will organize your task uh, automatically with their prediction. And it's kind of efficient for you because uh, you will manage to do all your tasks uh, in a way that after it you will have free time. Um, so I want to talk about also another interesting uh, tool uh, that I think uh, after this lockdown, lockdown, most of the office is gonna gonna use it because now working from home is kind of a culture and that everyone is experience, experiencing it. And um, I think uh, again uh, for the offices that never had this, uh, never had uh, this practice, uh, maybe they will be situation that they start to uh, do it working from home again. Uh, so most of the challenging and tricky part of the working from home is that you never know uh, how much your worker worked. Uh, I mean, uh, someone will work more efficiently, someone will work uh, less efficiently, and uh, you need to uh, track them uh, some kind of, and it's normal to track them because um, you will see their productivity and it will help to understand your business health. And I want to talk about automatic time tracking tool. Uh, while um, let's talk about what is generally automatic time tracking tool. Uh, is uh, what oh, it's a kind of a timetable shift that uh, people can go inside and just like like a to-do list. You say like, okay, today at 8 p.m. my uh, meeting starts and I'm expecting to finish it at 8.30. Uh, so this automatic, uh, um, this automatic uh, time tracking tool uh, is um, always uh, in the background of your um, application on your computer. And as we know, if you're working from home, you have your um, office computer. So it's generally normal to have your data because it's not your property, it's office property. and uh, office has that um, privilege to understand and to track their workers if they're working good or bad. Uh, so with the help of the AI, it uh, analyzes how much of time you spend on a certain task. For example, if I, uh, you said that I need that, I have that meeting, um, when you're doing that meeting, this uh, time tracking application understands and uh, with the image processing uh, solutions, uh, it detects that you're doing meeting. And also it writes that, okay, you wrote that you had meeting for uh, from 8 to 8.30, but actually your meeting lasted two hours. Uh, so this is a tool that also good for uh, for worker for itself to understand uh, uh, hours that they worked and hours that they wasted on something uh, or they predicted wrong and uh, I mean reducing the spend time on the stuff that are not necessary uh, as I mentioned is good for business health and uh, also, it kind of centralized company performance data in one place, which is a really hard thing when all your workers are working from home and uh, you actually don't know what they are doing. Uh, and uh, I want to mention also, this tool also will be helpful for HRs because um, their work is like directly related to 
uh, employees. And uh, when they don't see them, it, their work is become so much harder because um, mainly their work is based on uh, human interaction. So with this tool, uh, with, the anal uh, with analyzing uh, every worker uh, behavior, also uh, you can predict that if your worker has a high satisfaction or low satisfaction, if uh, they, they feel uh, they want to change their job or not. So this kind of a predictions and analytics that will help you to keep your business healthy uh, even uh, though you're working uh, from home. Uh, so this, these are the uh, things that I wanted to talk, of, talk about it today. And uh, all of these tools are kind of uh, developed and uh, used in this pandemic situation uh, more frequently. Or, uh, uh, but I want to say that um, all the businesses now understand that uh, Investing in AI is kind of investing in future because um, AI can sometimes replace uh, permanently your worker. And we know that uh, now is risky to have physical presence in any place. And if someone uh, have a replacement uh, such as machine that won't be um, get won't get sick or they're not in the in the risk of uh, getting uh, any virus. Uh, so in this case, uh, both humans, uh, workers, and both businesses uh, will have benefits. So. Um, I want to thank you all for uh, joining this webinar. And if you have any questions, uh, I will now just go through your chat and see uh, if you have any questions. Okay. So, uh, Arthur uh, Ananyans. Now ask the question, uh, what do you think when there will be enough data in COVID-19 field for data scientists to be able to model a smart AI models which can predict efficient outcomes? Okay, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, actually now uh, all the people uh, worldwide uh, collecting data related to COVID-19 and a lot of data are um, open uh, publicly and a lot of groups are doing uh, hackathons and solutions for understanding and predicting a lot of outcomes about uh, COVID-19. For example, uh, how, that, how COVID-19 will spread or uh, what are the solutions um, uh, for the, um, like there are, uh, there are kind of tools that uh, now people are helping uh, doctors and helping the data scientists, uh, giving their personal information, uh, but kind in kind of in a closed way. Uh, they give their, um, like personal information like age uh, or uh, the diseases that they have. So in this way, um, people can understand that how, um, how dangerous, dangerously they are in the uh, zone of COVID-19 or not. Uh, and also other, other, a lot of data are collecting now. So, uh, but I want to say that this is a really good question and COVID-19 COVID is something new and uh, in, in, this is kind of a new pandemic and uh, for the economics, I would say, uh, economic crushed uh, from this, but, uh, but I want to mention that if uh, in future something like this happened, based on this data that we already have because of this pandemic situation, uh, AI can uh, have a model for predicting such a situation in future. Uh, maybe uh, it can predict it now, right? Because um, it's something new for it and it takes a long time to train it. Uh, but in future, I hope 
something like this won't happen, but if it's going to happen, AI can um, say it. Okay. So any other questions or we can? Okay. So I want to also mention that um, uh, that SmartClick also uh, about this question. Uh, SmartClick also developed the X-ray that people um, uploading their X-rays of their uh, um, chest and uh, see if they have COVID-19 or not because. Um, in the X-rays, uh, scientists found that there is a uh, there is a something. Uh, um, I mean, like there there is different from uh, normal uh, this normal coughing or something and COVID nineteen. So um, SmartClick also has uh, its own um, its own tools and uh, developed uh, and you can find it in our page if you are interested. Uh, okay, uh, so thank you for joining everyone. Uh, hope this was uh, informative for all of you. And um, I want to say that um, hope something like this won't happen again and this lockdown will end soon and stay healthy. Uh, and I think uh, this one of the good things about this COVID-19 was that developing this webinar culture. So stay tuned that uh, I think we're going to have another series of webinars. So thank you all.